What's up guys, it is Sam here, and I wanted to talk about the U.S. Um, Democratic uh, candidates running for office. And something interesting happened to me the last week or maybe two or three weeks, I'm not sure of the exact time frame. I don't pay attention at all whatsoever to politics. And... The, like the amount of time I spend reading even headlines of things related to politics is a very, 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 very tiny amount. And somebody's come came onto my radar through social, right? Because I don't pay, I don't have a TV, I don't listen to radio. Um, the only way I get information is through my phone and through social networks, primarily YouTube and the internet. Right? Like that's where I get everything. And this person, Andrew Yang, started showing up in social, whether it was on Instagram or YouTube. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. I like listened to a video or something. And and then I saw, like I saw him on YouTube at first, just pop up, right? It was like su suggested from YouTube. Uh, and then I went over to Instagram and I saw, I didn't like look for the guy on YouTube, but I saw, um, so there was no like, I didn't type something into a keyboard that somehow Facebook was like, tracking that they could use my data like I didn't do any of that right but then I went into Instagram which owns Facebook and I go into the explore page and I start seeing the same thing come up on Instagram so like clearly the algorithms capturing like what's going on because they can see what's important what's trending and that's what they're kind of probably trying to predict and they see that like this Andrew Yang guy is starting to pop. So it's coming up on Instagram and then it's coming up on um, YouTube. So that got me thinking. And that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. If this is your first time here, my name is Sam. And if you're returning, it's good to freaking see you. That was a very, very long intro, but I'm glad I went through that to build a little bit of context. Okay. Now, uh, very, very headline, like the, the number of headlines I read in a month, the number of articles I read in a month related to something pol politically um, is probably like an actually read through it like intentionally, not just like accidentally click on something and then go back. Um, probably I want it's definitely under five like way under five but I would say more like one maybe and it would have to do with something was like happening with Trump more than likely like something with that and I'd pop that up and read that but it wouldn't really talk about the uh, presidential campaign for the Democrats and for me generally speaking I have leaned more Republican with uh, a lot of the just agreed with what how they were thinking about things so the Republican candidates however this time I'm my beliefs are shifting to some more libertarian and anyways um, so this pops up on my radar and I think hmm what is going on right now so I looked on uh, YouTube uh, I looked on Google Google has something called uh, Google Trends, and that's basically the search terms for whatever, right? Like, so if you wanted to look up ice cream, you could see over the last 12 months how, what time of year that term, ice cream, is searched most often, right? So it's kind of like giving you data around certain information, right? Because if it's, if you look at the, um, say, New York, and throughout seven months of the year, it's not searched at all. And then through the summer, spring, and early fall, it's searched a lot. You, that tells you a lot of information. So 
I decided to put in a couple of the candidates um, who are running for Democratic president. And, um, and I wanted to compare that with, uh, let me pull it up here, uh, Real Clear Politics, uh, which is a uh, polling site, I guess, um, an aggregation of polling data, f f like in terms of legacy players or like where uh, polling had been done in the past where they would put out surveys to certain groups of people to try to get an understanding of like how people think about things. But I think a real bigger tell to the actual essence of what's happening is using real time data from Google based upon the searches, right? Google search trends. So then you get to see like what people are actually searching for, not what is reported in this and why statistically did you set up your questions in this way? What's the fucking framing associated with setting up your questions in such a way? And how are you gathering your data? And that's 97% of it. But what if you just looked at Google and you'd be like, hmm, I wonder out of these candidates, which is more popular on Google, right? Because that would kind of give you the actual data. And so that's what I did. And let's get into it. So uh, the candidates I have here are Andrew Yang. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, he, he's got that freedom dividend, like give everybody um, $1,000 a month in the United States. And they call it the freedom dividend. Uh, the next person, I have no idea who it is. Uh, his name is Tom Steyer. And uh, he is a billionaire. So I find that... Here in the United States, people are fascinated with money and uh, success um, and the story and stuff. So I think that that could uh, help this guy because he's a billionaire. Um, the next is Joe Biden. The next is Elizabeth Warren. Um, and the last is Bernie Sanders. <clears throat> and the reason I picked Joe, and Joe Biden is uh, f for some reason he came up on my radar. I don't know why. Maybe it was when I started researching this video. I think that's probably what it was. When I started to dig into this, that's when I was like, oh, that Joe Biden was like running for president. I had no fucking idea. Um, the next was Elizabeth Warren. And this actually came on my radar several months ago when she was talking about a, a wealth tax um, that I made a video on. Uh, so that's when she came out of my radar and I was like, oh, this lady is running for president. Great. Um, and then the other one is, uh, Bernie Sanders and Bernie Sanders, uh, has come on my radar several times in the past, but in terms of this presidential debate and like the very, very, very like non-interest I've ever like paid attention to it whatsoever. Um, his, I wouldn't have ever guessed that he was in the race. Like that's how little I pay attention to it and how little I would have known to think of putting Bernie Sanders in here. So, uh, those are the people, the five people and you might have different people you would stick in there, but, uh, that's who I have. And when you look at the past 12 months, uh, the person who's been, trending upward that for like six of the last month it looks like here since uh february so but basically six, the last six months um is andrew gang you could say that joe biden has also been increasing but just over the much much more recent since these last debates since andrew gang um really started came onto my radar, he is spiked to be the most searched term on Google. Meaning that at this moment right now, in the very short term, like hours, minutes, days, weeks, you know, back probably to the last debate he mentioned it in, um, 
Andrew Yang has been on the minds of more people than these other candidates, just looking at the data. So then, because uh, Google owns YouTube, they also integrate Google Trends on here, or with, or they also integrate YouTube Trends on the same Google Trends site. So you can search the same way, right? Andrew Yang. Tom Stewart or whatever, Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders, and then see how that differs from Google, right? Because Google's tremendous. They capture a shitload of data. But YouTube is also fucking gargantuan, um, the second biggest search engine in the world, only behind Google. And Google owns YouTube, so that together, excuse me, gives you a ton of information and we do the same thing we look over the last 12 months and we see that back in um early mid-february the very be the very beginning of february nobody had ever fucking heard of andrew yang andrew yang and tom stewier were virtually completely unknown and then Midway through February, Andrew Yang is the most searched term uh, above all the other candidates. And this was back in the second week of February. And he continues to uh, rise in terms of the amount of searches on YouTube, that is, not on Google, on YouTube. And uh, for the next... Uh, month or so, uh, he is second in search terms behind Bernie Sanders. And then uh, again for March, most of March, he is the most uh, searched term. And then drops to Joe Biden, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, uh, he trends until you, you can see that it's basically moving like this and to the right. But it's much more volatile in terms of the search. But the trend is clearly up and to the right. And uh, for basically uh, since early May, Andrew Yang has been the most searched term on YouTube out of those five candidates that I just told you about. Like that says a tremendous amount of... Uh, that gives it a tremendous amount of value to this, right? And then I'm, I'm going to get into comparing the, the two of them in a second, the traditional polling. But we get a tremendous amount of data just from that because the um, this is much more representative if you think about it from a millennial standpoint, right? I'm a millennial. And I don't consume any of the traditional, like, old school uh, media sources whatsoever, right? Like, maybe on YouTube, I catch the YouTube version of the old world guard, right? Like, the old media giants. Um, like, maybe CNBC, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this now? Kind of thing. Um, and... Actually, it's kind of frustrating watching them because they're so freaking biased sometimes. And I'm like, damn, I can't fucking watch that. Like, how, I just can't see the value in watching something where it's so completely biased in one direction. Like, uh, same thing with some other uh, media outlets. Anyways, uh, this is tremendously value for basically my generation and anybody younger than me, and I'm 34, that is going to be voting, right? Because this is where we primarily get a lot of our data um, around what is going on. So then I go over to uh, this site called hashtags.org, and I only looked up one, uh, one hashtag, Andrew Yang, because there's no comparison in here. And... Uh, he is clearly up and to the right. And then I went over to um, a uh, data aggregation for um, hashtags and whatnot. And some of the other um, hashtags around him are uh, return of the Yang, hashtags that are used in relation to when his name is used. Uh, humanity first, math. Uh, let Yang speak, Yang, Gang, 
Uh, Yang Gang, that that could be catchy. That could be very catchy. Uh, Yang Gang, <laughs> somebody's gonna come out with a, uh, a rap video, probably. <laughs> um, Dem Debate, Yang 2020, Yang, oh, Yang Gang, Yang Gang 2020. Uh, Dem Debate 2 and Freedom Dividend. Uh, so anyways, it tracks these. And over the last two months, eight weeks, there is a, a clear starting in the bottom corner going up and up. It drags up. It comes down a little bit, but it's way higher now. It goes across. And then over the last couple of weeks, it has been just up and to the right. So there's a clear trend from one side of the chart to the other side of the chart that Popularity in the last two months has been up and up, uh, which I thought was a very, very interesting. And I think that's the last thing I wanted to touch on before comparing the search results. So we're going to compare YouTube uh, with the Real Clear Politics uh, website polling data that they, they aggregated. It looks like they have Economist, um, survey from USAA, some... Quinn, yeah, pack. Well, I don't know what the fuck that says. Uh, and Politico. So, uh, according to them, over the past several months, what is this, six month view here, uh, the person who is, I guess, most popular, um, according to the aggregated data that asks different questions from different companies because right? that's what it is. Not everybody asks the exact same question exactly the same, right? Like, it's not going to be like, hey, who's more popular, Biden, blah, 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 blah. Everybody gets, uh, goes about doing that in a different way. Um, so they have, uh, over the last six months, they're saying that Biden is the most popular person. So let's go back for a second now. And, oops, compare the two of these. So, over the last six months, it says Biden has been the most popular, according to the polling data, which we are all supposed to believe is fucking amazing because you use statistics to try to draw conclusions when you can just go see for your fucking self. Um, <laughs> so it's very entertaining for me uh, at this moment. So, let's start with YouTube. And I'm going to change the actual date range uh, from now back to February 10th, which would have been six months ago. And we're going to see, this is the first time I haven't searched this yet. So this is the first time I'm going to be looking at this data. Um, and uh, over the last six months, there it's Bernie Sand, it's, him, it's um, Andrew Yang. Bernie uh, Sanders, Andrew Yang, Andrew Yang for like quite a while. Um, Joe Biden, Andrew Yang, Bernie, Bernie, Andrew, um, Biden. And then they're kind of like all kind of at the same almost level. Like um, Andrew Yang is like popping out a little bit more than um, others it looks like. Uh, it might, you know what I mean, it might go Joe Biden then Andrew Yang, then Bernie Sanders, then Andrew Yang, then Elizabeth Warren, then Andrew Yang. You know, it just seems like he's getting more of that mind share. And especially more recently after June, he basically was at the top of the mind most of June and uh, into July. And then Bernie Sanders uh, gained a tiny bit for a, a week or so, it looks like. But then Andrew Yang was just had the highest uh, spike in terms of popularity um, just uh, at the beginning of August. So this is probably just the starting point of leveling up uh, his awareness uh, in terms of people who are like me, who don't pay attention to old media sources at all. Like I don't own a TV and haven't owned one in more than 10 years. Uh, I haven't had cable in more than 10 years. Like everybody's doing it now, but I did this 10 fucking years ago. Um, 
I was just didn't see a point in it. I was like, this is just like garbage. Like literally why pay $75 a month, a hundred dollars a month for garbage. I don't even want to pay attention to because the stuff that's actually interesting to me is on the fucking internet, whether that's social media or YouTube or just uh, other people's websites that I'm learning from or finding interesting information on. And uh, so using uh, that information, um, Anyways, I completely got off topic on that. Anyways, so clearly it is not Biden on the real political website. The next most popular person over the last six months. This is, just shows how like uh, interesting this is. It it seems to predict these two people uh, decently, uh, Biden and Sanders, in that they are. When you look at the uh, chart right here. This is Sanders and the green is Biden. So uh, throughout that curve of six months, um, those line charts, you can see according to the political site that Biden has, is winning with Sanders a decent amount underneath him, which Sanders is also a decent amount above everybody else over the last uh, um, six months in general. And then you see Elizabeth Warren gaining uh, interest and somebody named Harris, which I didn't include, gaining interest according to their poll. And that rounds out the top four as of like the most recent data. Uh, but the top four um, on the actual um, like world, like what people are fucking paying attention to, uh, we just looked at uh, YouTube which kind of accurately predicts spots number two, three, and four, right? In some form. But it's completely missing the boat on Andrew Gang. Like, Andrew Gang on the real, uh, the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination polls that they put together, it's just realclearpolitics.com. Um, they... <laughs> Uh, the amount of like data they have or property, probably reputability that they think they have, but in real in reality, they're Andrew Yang is like fucking in terms of their shit. 